Hello everybody and welcome to Critzcast. Today we're going to be bringing you the Oz Fortress Sixes Season 34 Premier Semi-Final No Badges versus Team E. Uh, my name is Lugnuts, joining me is uh, Core on Production and Frydog is co-caster. How you going man? Yeah, I'm going good bro. We should get this show on the road because yeah, it's going to be going to start quick. soon. Uh, let's do... go over Rosses real quick and then we can do some pick bands and then we'll probably be into it. Alright, um, I'll start off with a team with no badges. So they got Memories and Combo Scout. Precious on flank scout. I believe they had a different. Did I have a different scout? I don't think Precious has been on a team that whole the whole season. Then I've had Fane on Roma, Matt on Pocket. They've been on their team the whole season, and Daz on Demo. Okay, and it looks Mikhail like we're going live. So we can actually quickly rush through the other roster. We have Elmo, Paulson, Alt, Connor on Meta, Clix on Demo, and Redcoat on Soldier. We saw them last week. We're seeing them again. The mid has started though, Mr. Dog. So so us through it. It looks like a pretty just a, a mirror mid right now. Both teams. Just taking right side. Oh, but both soldiers from No Bad just going in deep, getting the demo really early and getting some good damage onto Memory Zek, taking them down as well. Fane getting on Med here, onto Connor, but not managing to get him. Wow, that was a pretty clean mid actually out of the Letters team. They've managed to get the cap, get the wipe as well. They're going to be set up for a push into last with full Uber advantage. I mean, this is going to be a tough one for no badges to pull off a defense for. We're going to need to see some off classes. Probably a sentry gun. They have a little bit of time. Yep, there is the player up on the sentry gun. See how that manages to work out for them. But I mean, this is looking pretty grim already. Well, I've got Precious and Sniper here watching one and two. Let's see if he's got anything. It looks like uh, Red Team of no badges. Oh, sorry, no. Is that no badges? But oh, that's the other team. Team E. It looks yeah. like they're going into lobby now. But Precious not going to get much unless they go through three. He's watching it. Let's see. Red Coat. And I just use three four. Precious not managing to get much. Taking down a sentry immediately. Taking so much space here on the right. Already playing the cap. Bane doing a good job denying him here. Sticky's on point, stopping them from getting any more cap time. But they're just losing players here. Oh. Bit of a Z9 there. I mean, didn't manage to get all their players into position to die on that point. But yeah, the writing was on the wall for that one. Uh, bit of a rough first round, but I mean, if any team's going to be able to pull off the different mid, it's definitely going to be no badges. I mean, the amount of talent they have on their team. Of course, my favourite player still playing, Mr. Fane over there. Going to see what he manages to do this mid. Alt, however, is the one deciding to go big onto Daz and heading behind through IT. All E have to do here is just play slow away for Alt to get in position, but no badges know that. They're going to go fast. They're going to go straight into them here. Just lock them out into the right, back into the corner. Daz going in super deep and going down. Alt now getting onto Macau. Managing to take him down really though, does get him down. Lex, is, Lex and Connor are both quite low though, they could, could get picked up here. We'll see. Pressure's on, managing to take out Lex and it looks like, yeah, not going to get much else. Yeah, that was a good bit of aggression. Oh, Matt! Nearly oh, Connor. Almost got him, still with the scout. Memories on as well. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Memories doesn't quite manage to pick it up and that's going to now put them into the exact same situation they were before in <laughs> last round. That was actually a bit of good aggression coming out of them, but they did go for the sack instead of just playing aggressively and they really pulled oh, off on the... Oh, shot there on the red coat. Oh, nice. He's going to be unhappy with that, but he's still alive, so they're going to be able to come back for it. Second is actually still being contested here, but not going to be for too much longer. They're already holding all the way back, so no badges should have to be forced to pull out of this any moment now. They're walking through Al-Qaeda here on the second. It's pretty free. They can't get really get sniped from that position. Memories is watching one, but I don't think he's going to get much here. He's just getting sticked off. Pressured. It looks like E are walking into the lobby now. Maybe could be another four Uber, we'll see. It's just another four Uber. The sentry it's really got a level three sentry here and it disappears through a teleporter. Not really doing much it just through a teleporter. Take it down pretty fast. This Uber they're taking quite a lot of positioning here and they're just gonna play spam and play for brag, but this heavy is really denying him for doing that and they just have to leave. Actually, they don't decide to leave, they decide to sack it and get all their players killed. Looks like it's only going to be Connor who makes it out alive. Nope, meets up with Elmo, that's going to be good for them, but they do get the force out on the last. So that's actually going to be really good for stopping this uh, leapfrog situation, because now we're probably going to have to see most of no badges either still hold last or maybe just make tentative plays on a second. Definitely going to be wanting to challenge that on the side of Team E. Alt going, going for a big bomb there. Managing to get much. Fane also trying to bomb, getting down super low, but they do manage to capture point there. Not that big this for them, honestly, they can just muscle him out and build a Uber and they'll just be able to hold second. 
yeah, that's a good play from them. But unfortunately, going to be a bit more of a leapfrog now because Connor is coming up on that Uber already almost at 90%. So they're going to be able to take this and at least force this team off second. Going to be depending on how much they want to hold back. If they want to just hold on last with their Uber or if they want to sort of take a little bit more of a fight here, try to make sure they get out that force. Matt looks like trying to go for a force there, not seeing him get much this side to leave, especially since his team have just gotten Uber now. I don't think they're going to try trade here, they're just going to hold on last. It's still early days, only five minutes gone. They're going to play it safe. Not going for any risky plays. Daz looks like he's going to try to hold lobby. Deny the sack from getting through onto last. Let's see how that goes. We do have an off-class pressure. This is on the sentry gun, so it's going to stop any sacks coming through all the way to last if they decide to hold back there. But given how aggressive they're sort of positioning themselves here, this seems like an interesting choice. Soldier getting through too, getting completely denied by the sentry. It's a great sentry spot there, stopping anything from getting into lobby onto the med from one or two. Well, you know me, I've got several critiques for the sentry spot, <laughs> but we don't need to do that now. There was a double sack that went in, both Matt and Fane, both of them dying, so that's going to be probably prompt to push out of them, as Redcoat has just respawned as well. Team E going to be looking to try to take this pull with the player advantage. Those spawners are coming up very quickly, and there is the sentry going to deal with. Sentry does, does go down to spam there, really fast. And Almo is in through left. With ult, they're getting so much space here. Ult going into heaven. Almo does go down, and ult's in a really bad position here. He's just kind of stuck in heaven. Yeah, he's, yeah, gonna, he's gonna get cleaned up. Oh man, just to get memories. Oh no. Not enough MG for memories, it seems. So. <laughs> yeah, gonna do that process last MG. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, does look like uh, it was just going back to a sort of um, equilibrium position here. Players respawning, still cementing their hold over their respective points. Um, no more off classes. Oh, there's actually a spy up. Precious is on spies. Just checking off classes though. Our most on sniper as well. Yeah, Precious just checking off classes. Comes back up as a heavy. Interesting choice if you saw the sniper. It the demo get man dead. down. Oh. That's actually really good for them. They're going to be able to take so much space for the sniper now. Fane trying to get some spam here. Doesn't really get much of that, just jumping away, rotating much of health. They've got pressure up on Deer, but he's still get headshot by the sniper. If he's not really gonna do much here. Matt trying to jump and get a force. Doesn't get the force, gets some decent damage on the legs, but not much. Looks like Redcoat's gonna go down super low, but Mikhail does force. And it's gonna be a so better much worse. Uber. Yeah, this is gonna be much better for Team E here. They're taking so much space, taking a lot of damage here. Um, no badges are kind of shoved back into spawn. The scout's trying to contest, but just doesn't really manage to do anything there. And that's another round on the board for Team E. Uh, two pretty quick rounds actually from them off some very nice mids. So we're gonna to have to see no badges do a lot of work to try and turn this around. I liked seeing that aggression last time. They did peel back to deal with ult, however, I'd like to see if they just want to commit to that or maybe move a little bit earlier. Oh, doing another fast rollout. Not going to IT this time, just choosing to spam the demo. Good thing he didn't because there is a soldier waiting there for him. <laughs> yeah. So I was just appearing now. Getting taken down. Oh, super low. Look, almost super low on the left. That's just walking and managing to take him out. It's... No, bad just taking so much space here on the left. They're just going to muster them out. They've got one player right here. Oh, but Fane going for a big bomb there. He so much space for his team. Lex is caught out. He could go down. Redcoat's turned down super low as well. But they both managed to get, a, get out and live. Um, yeah, that choke saving their lives. It doesn't the matter. Fane has gone all the way oh, in for it. Part of the Getting surf. some sweet rockets. He comes out with 35 HP with the arrow kill onto Fane. That was a close call. Yeah. Really good sack from Fane there. Redcoat's in sewer. Let's see. He's gone for a bit of, a bit of shenanigans. I don't think they know he's there. Memories may try to pick you. Memories pick his sewer now, but Redcoat's out. <laughs> Yeah, gonna just be a bit of a stalemate here, gonna see if Fane, Fane probably is not gonna come on even off class, we do have a spy up, I'm assuming it's just checking spy. off classes, no. no, he's out of spawn, it's ult, <laughs> never mind, it's ult, yeah, Let's see if he manages to get anything here, or if uh, they're not gonna be able to do too much before the next set comes in, oh, he's gonna, he's gonna go through IT, I like this, I like this, no one's in there watching for him, he's managed to come out, it's gotta pick up, which ammo pack he's going to pick up? He's probably running on ammo. It's going to go into the sewer. Oh, well, all of no badges to push to Al Qaeda in real life. Yeah, they've been going really on far forward. Matt's on Alt's... the mid. He's on corner. Oh my. Alt got called out, I'm pretty sure, by Precious. He saw the store opening and decided to chase that in. He decided to just leave the medic, though. Uh, looks like it's worked out not too well for his team, as most of no badges have really made so much space in. Now the Ubers are being exchanged just beside the I'm not going deep with this trade, trying to get the force, yeah, manages to get the flash out of memory. So Uber is slightly better, but the positioning is so bad, they're just going to get caught out here. Lex already going down. Paulson may go down to Dad's as well, now Paulson manages to live. Redcoat 
getting some good damage to Dez there. Looks like Dez is gonna, yeah, oh, Dez goes down Dez was so low. Good brick. Oh, Can't believe he survived for as long as he did. Yeah. Paulson taking a lot of damage. Could meet up with Connor now. It's gonna see how well they manage to hold this on. They don't really have the players there, and the positioning is all the way for no badges. And sure enough, they have managed to solidify their hold over the point. They're getting a bit aggressive into this. Already yeah. going into lobby. It looks like they're trying to convert this into a push. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. About that. Let's see how it goes. It's not that big player, right? But they've, they've gone in so much space already. Lex getting some good damage here out of the combo. Matt taking heaven there. Oh, trains on the mid. Connor goes down to two HP. Connor does go down to the scout. That's what the soldiers are. Looks like no badges are just gonna they're just gonna try to leave it looks like. They're just gonna leave Fame for dead and just gonna play the Uber ad. Pretty much yeah, they've already got Uber now actually. They just Good need a choice to... for them. But Ma Macau's got one objective just to live here. I mean if Daz dies, he's Daz dies, you know, but he's gonna get out. Objective survive. Actually, really good exactly. play from them. Recognizing that, I mean, you know, it could have been very easily that aside just to try to convert it with the heal advantage. But you know, definitely oh, Macau knowing high. that it should pull out there. Red coat dying doesn't manage to get anything, so things are still looking pretty nice. Is that an engineer? I see. Yes, yeah, it is yeah. on the defending Paulson team. Engineer. Paulson engineer and having so far the best sentry gun spot of everyone else so far for this last hold. <laughs> nice like, to see it. Getting through four here, taking down a sentry super early. Daz jumping left here, taking, he's really denied the whole team, but all of E are just coming out right and they're just going to clean up frag there. Oh. Yeah, that push went really disastrously, disastrously for them, which really sucks because that was their good opportunity to start putting around on the board and get momentum back in their side. They're going to have to pull all the way out of here. Macau a little bit disconnected, we're going to meet up with Bay and probably be safe. Uh, and now there's a big big uber advantage for lit team e and they're going to be able to push this one pretty far at least take the middle but looks like matt's in the court here he's going to try to get a fourth traps on the other side of chokes let's see if they spot matt, well, spot matt. I haven't seen him yet red coat's already in elbow's in as well I haven't seen him matt's going to get on he's going to get, he gets caught. <laughs> oh my god, he's he going to get oh. oh my god that's really beautiful play from him i can't Fame. believe no one saw him just all walk past it it's now a lot of position being taken by no badges. It's just going to be a sack all into the medic for Team E here. Not really successful. Lex and Redcoat coming in to try to make the difference, but they're already safe in choke. They do manage to pick up memories there, so they've still solidified a kind of hold over this mid, but they're definitely not going to be able to hold it for long. They don't even have heals, and already we see just the team of no badges pushing and sweeping them out of the way and trying to get this cap up. Elmo fighting Matt here. Matt survives. Looks like he's got the skybox. <laughs> yep, he's survived there. Uh, so has Elmo, actually. So the fight is still ongoing. We do have, I believe, Dad's Uber going advantage down he's going deep and does go down. Rico looks like he's going to go down a choke as well. Paulson going down super below, and I do use into them. This is such a fat Uber. But they're going to, it looks like they're going to get Paulson with this. They get, they get Lex as well. They're chasing Connor here, the memories on it, along with Matt. Looks like they're going to get the kill. They do. That's so good for them. Now they've basically got a guaranteed mid cap, guaranteed second player. I think Elmo back capped, actually. Did he? Oh. And now he's back capping again, fighting Daz on the spawn. Oh, see how he manages to do it. Daz managing to force him off, I think, just enough time. Will he manage to keep his life, though? He yes, does. he does. And picks up Elmo. There's that, you know, Proceus Spire MG coming to play. Yeah. <laughs> You know, as the mid has been capped by no badges though, they do have uber advantage still, so they're probably going to be able to convert this into a second cap. Not big enough to take last, I don't think, however. Likely going to see... I don't oh, think they're going to give ready. us up for free. That, that are, no badges don't have uber yet, they shouldn't give us up free yet. Both soldiers... Old guy's super high. I'm not managing to get... Managing to get down Macau pressure super low, but losing his life for it. But Matt does go down. Yeah, they're leaving this up for free. I mean, I would have expected them to force that hole a little bit more until they at least got it, give them some more time to build Uber, and then go for their sacks to force it. Unfortunately, they didn't. There's alt timing out, which was probably the pause. Yep, and how here comes in the Uber from no badges. Lex, Lex going already been taken down. That's so bad for them. Still heavy on the left side, but he's not really denying a point. He's just kind of just sitting in the corner. But alt going in for a big bomb there. It does go down super low. Looks like he hasn't got to die. No. Finally does die, but Almo's really mopping him up here with the heavy, but he does finally go down. And there finally is the first round on the board for no badges. Desperately for them to swing momentum back around to their side. They're going to be sent back to the mid again, in which case we'll have to see whether they manage to continue their streak or if we see a little bit of fighting back from Team E now. Both demos doing a pretty evenly even roll out here. Fane rolling out IT again. Oh, doing another fast roll out. Yeah, Fane's really, he's really taking his time here in IT, he's got to try and catch someone out it looks like. Dad's taking some good space across point. 
Matt going super high, trying to draw eyes from the team of E. Just the team of E. <laughs> team of E. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll call them anything but their actual name, and they knew that we'd have to do that. That's like going Matt. down. It's actually a really good trade, Matt, for Lex. Red coat going down super low, going down to Precious as well. I mean, oh my god. E are just bleeding players left and right. Almo does awesome. go up, oh, Get him him That's actually so crucial though, especially because Connor actually looks like he might survive this. He's desperately trying to escape here. Daz is on the task, trying to get him, manages no to clean him up with memories. And uh, that's now a not too bad of a situation. I mean, there's not going to be too much of an Uber advantage, probably not enough to take last. Like holding don't think. They're going in. They're not letting him get second at all. It's a really good choice for them, I think. Uh, but ult does go down. There's no way that they're going to be able to just dry push this last, so it's better to sacrifice the players now. But uh, I mean, Macau's been building pretty heavily. He's going to actually have a significant uber advantage. If they don't do something, then they're going to be suffering a full uber push into last. Bane which... picking up armor, such a good bomb there from here. Yeah, Pulls him down super low as well. They're going to try to chase him in a lobby, looks like. They're just going to play the edge. Red Dead actually surviving there on like 12. Yeah. <laughs> Dead does go down though. Will he be up in time for the for the uber push? I'm Looks not sure. like up in seven seconds, Uber is seventy five percent. Okay. He'll be Should up in be time up. maybe. Yeah. Maybe for post. I mean it does look like they're getting pretty aggressive here already. Yeah, Matt that's... going down, that's gonna be the one that delays them. Maybe. Oh no. Here we go. They wait for days, now they're gonna go. Okay. But E have already got eighty percent Uber and then they use through. Managed to take out Sentry immediately. They need to get the mid. There needs, there needs to be a mid killer. Mid does get out of the spawn. The Lex might go so down low. here, does. Lex managing to slither his way out. And the heavy up here, just trying to deny take as much space as they can, but they've already lost three players. Connor does use your Uber. Lex barely being saved by that Uber there. Now they've got two frags of their own, and they that's got, gonna stop this push in its track. They've got Fane behind. Fane managing to take out the heavy. I think he's just gonna try a little. Oh no, they're gonna keep fighting. They're confident in their deathmatch, they want to do this, even though spawns are on their way. Connor, solo, gets taken down, finally. Daz did, however, that's going to be really disastrous. Macau already out. Really, really good awareness of the situation for Macau to just be bouncing right out of there in perfect timing to not risk their life, because now they've got bigger advantage and they're still contesting the second. I'll try to do, some tricky, do a cheeky play there from IT, but it does go down. Rico as well in lobby, trying to make something happen, but it's just going to get... Completely just denied by the scouts. They've already Looks, got Uber. They're looking like they want to go in. Yep, they've got Uber already, and this is a big Uber advantage. Sentry gun has already been spammed out, so they don't need to commit the Uber onto that side. They've already taken so much space before using, and now they just clean up the point while all of Team E are sitting in spawn waiting for the Uber to come out. That's a that's a great round. It's like, yeah. it looks like no badges are really bring the back. Yeah, no badge is definitely <laughs> wrestling control of things back in their favor. Daz already on mid again, fighting Lex here, so we're going to see how this manages to go. Timmy haven't had the greatest success on these mids so far, but they did manage to do a little bit better last time than they did on the one before. And of course, the first two mids, which went handily their way. Alt and Rico both Big going high. Bomb. Daz going down super low. That does manage to live. But Connor does go down to Fane. A huge bomb from him. I'm sorry, but when it comes to the soldier combos, the one with Fane on, it's just gonna do better. <laughs> just it just happens, unfortunate. And then with the scouts cleaning up, well, Precious and Daz cleaning up those last remaining players, that's a full team wipe. Team E getting wiped, sent back to spawn, no badges, gonna be able to get the second, get the or get the mid, then get the second, and then gonna have a full uber push into last. We already see a centric up from Alt getting ready for this defense again i just want to point out that team e has had better sentry positions than no badges so far so you know it counts for something look that that's it on even ubers is good all right that's where you want to put it for even ubers look you're just not you're not updated on the meta for engineer no no this is a good spot the issue the issue is that uh, when no badges was trying to put it in the same spot they were um they were putting it too far back so it didn't cover the point ah uh, okay I'm aware of the engineer meta, even oh. if I've forgotten everything else about the regular meta. <laughs> Sentry does go down immediate though. Oh, to spam. They do use through one. They've taken so much space there, but they're not managing to get many frags. Matt Fresh is already going down. They're just getting cleaned up by the heavy. Mowing the lawn. Elmo, no, it's just like last time we cards to these guys. Elmo just... The heavy is powerful. Yep, the Elmo heavy is actually one of the most powerful forces of nature you know. <laughs> Memories of the cheeky kill on the ult just before dying there, but that is a team wipe. 
they really went super aggressive in that last to try and do the same thing they did last time and just kept the point while the rest of the team were kiting the uber but this time team e was prepared for it they had their players block and spawn and managed to just focus all their fire onto that point and get just got just too many frags early on record going in trying to just completely de he's denying no bad just completely out of this not letting them get a sack or anything and EF just got, they've got so much Uber add, they've got 70 add, it looks like they're just going to keep taking it, they're not denying any caps or any spawners, they're just going to go straight in. At this stage it becomes desperately crucial for them to try to force this Uber out here. Fane is going for the force here, Connor a bit low, but... Oh, managed to take up forces. Fresh is going in as well. Fresh is losing his life for that, but that is so worth it, because now they can't roll this onto last, they had such a big Uber advantage. And now, even though No Badges is holding last, they do have their own Uber advantage, they're going to be able to push out. I mean, they're going to have to be careful with it, so they don't get back capped or anything like that. But they should be able to convert this into a second. The bad thing to do, however, would be to leapfrog and be forced to use their Uber to take the second. You really want to try and take it for free. Looks like they're going to try, they're used through one. Oh, if it... He yeah, just completely out. He's not going to get anything from the super. But they've got two soldiers behind. Red coat does go down. Same oh, and Almo goes down. Looks like they try going for a back cat play. So maybe, even though they did use three there, it ended up working out fine because they managed to get the frags. Well, I mean, it didn't work out too awfully for them. In fact, getting three frags is going to be good because they're going to be able to contest second here most likely. Sorry, mid here most likely. However, they're going to have to be really careful about the super coming from Connor because if Team E plays this fine enough to the wire, then they're going to be able to recontest this. Doesn't look that that's what they're planning on doing. No, they oh, no, are. They're going to go through, through IT. IT. But they're going to get the cap first. Oh. They get the cap, and Matt denies them super well there. Lex trying to bomb against something, but doesn't manage to get anything. No badge, it's already completely out. Not managing to get, I think, a single point of damage here with that Uber. That yeah, like, denial for Matt was huge, just that being delayed for a second really managed to help his team get out. Yeah, didn't manage to get the cap from no badges, but really good play there by Matt, stopping them from doing too much damage on that Uber. Now they have their own Uber, gonna see if they manage to leapfrog this again. Definitely Team E gonna want to try to force this and make sure they don't manage to take this midpoint for free. They just all their team is getting denied completely. They're all so low. Alt trying to get something here, but the scout see him, the scout seeing a mile away and he just doesn't manage to get anything. All their bombs are completely denied. Both soldiers are in sewer. Maybe they're gonna to try to do a sewer play here. No, it looks like Badge is just gonna push through sewer and completely deny that. Maybe yeah, they're gonna they're walking in through Al Qaeda. But E have already got 80% moves in there. Maybe try to take a trade here if that build is fast enough. Yep, they're looking like they want to do something like that. They're staying in. Paulson dying, however, that's not going to be great for them. Matt is so low, but he has done a lot of damage to Lex, and he's staying alive. Does get cleaned up. But that's probably going to force them to hold back onto last. Looks like so much position being taken by no badges, but they've lost too many players, and they've had to force their Uber to exchange. It looks like an even trade here, but since uh, Team E have just the better spawns, they're going to be able to win this post. And yeah, no badges know this, and it looks like they just want to give it up, especially after losing Precious. Yeah, they're going to be forced to, holding back on this mid. They're not going to have... Well, no, their spawner situation is bad enough. They're going to have to give up this mid. Bane is coming up now, but Precious is still down. And having that scout advantage and the soldier not in the fight yet is going to allow a lot of early position to be taken by Team E. Oh, They've already got the kill. And oh, super low. He could go down as well. He may crater. Yeah, he does crater. Rico in trying to get something, but Beefing is jumping. I'm managing to land on top of the rock. Lex is super far forward, and he does take a lot of damage. He may go down. Well, I know they managed to get out. Some crucial frags there for no bad, just managing to hold that. And it looks like they're going to try to take second here. I'm not, yeah. They're trying to push into it for sure, using that player advantage to get some space here. Connor really kind of holding back, but they don't have the position Matt's needed yet. Deep, though. Not many. Matt dies as well, unfortunately, and hasn't had his soy milk today. Precious fighting Elmo in IT, gets killed by him, so they're going to be able to force them Red all the way on. out. He's getting... Not managing to get any damage onto the mid and does go down for it. Oh, trying to go for the food and managing to force back out. Looks like a, a trade here, a pretty even trade. They have got better spawns, so they're gonna just try to play this post and win it. They're already, the frags are going their way as well. Badges is just gonna completely force out. Dad's going for a big bomb there. I'm not sure, it was a bit too far, not managing to get anything. Paulson and Alex are both too low, mate. Let's see if anyone. Yeah, they look like they're gonna fall up on its damage and taking out Lex. And they're just gonna keep going. They've gotta take second now. No badges is salvaging some situations, some serious deathmatch, honestly. Does look like Team E is really reluctant to give up the second though. They've held on to it through oh, three best. pushes. Absolutely just destroying. Oh, oh. 
going you for it again. still hold on to this. My god, Matt dying now as well. Thane in behind on the medic. He gets the kill. That's what was needed. Now they have the big heal advantage. They're going to have to pull back and make sure Mikhail's protected because all the players on Team E are going to be rushing for that medic frag to stop any big advantage. At the very least, they might be able to cap up the second, which is oh, in the go ahead, bro. Uh, Lex actually dying there. Was that a trap from Daz? I must have been. I'm not sure how I would have killed him. Now I have to recontest. They've got, they've got to try and fight this, yeah. McCown, they've already got Uber actually. They're just gonna... Leap frog off a leap frog. Leap... Redcoat tried to do something against Sewer, but he's gonna get completely denied by pretty much all of them. No badges actually. No badges. He's leaving the rest of the team. So... It's it... pretty passive, but they're getting, they're getting pressured <laughs> so aggressively by Team E here. Yeah, they just... Because they, they sent three people behind to deal with one player. Almo managed to cheek up, pick up a cheeky frag on a Precious. May go for it. No, it's not going to go. He's going to pick up Fane super low. Sorry, he may pick up Fane in IT. Fane fighting for his life here. Matt here to help. Matt gets the kill. He's been drinking his soy milk now. He remembered him. Now he's watching the stream. <laughs> now we've got the players from No Badges ready to push here. They have a pretty sizable advantage. They're going to be able to push through Choke. Most likely get the second, hopefully for free. And then try to send this to last. You've already got 80 percent Uber, so they're gonna try just delay him for as long as I can. Fane going super deep, taking taking so much space for his team, allowing for them just walk in for free. Um. Yep, that's for exactly the situation they wanted. However, we still do have the Connors now has 100 percent Uber, so they're gonna be able to defend this. They've got the Sentry Gun as well. So looks like no badges. They're not gonna push this. Maybe they're going into lobby to take a sack. I don't think they definitely know it's even right. Yeah, they've got to know it's even by this stage, so most likely just going to be a sack. Maybe getting some bit of off class. Matt singer. does go down. Man, looks like they're going to pick up. They pick up red coat. Pause in lobby as well. Yo, a, a little scuffle in lobby. Not much else. Yeah, that's Fane, Fane going down as well. So Connor's there might so be a low. play now. Oh, that was Fane. Sick. Oh. Actually, really good sack from Fane. I'm just getting Connor there, but him dying. Was, yeah, with the Sentry Gun, they can't actually really push out of this. Best they could really get is a sack. But I mean, the players have already spawned on the side of no badges. No off classes, so just trying to play a little bit fundamentally. Both teams have two points each, less than four minutes on the clock, which means that no no badges has a big incentive to get this cap. Because if they get this cap, then they've got a really good shot of winning this map. We'll see. Yeah, no, no off classes, but no badges. They look like are they gonna try to take like a trade through one? Daz is in one right now. He's gonna not manage to get the traps onto red coat. Fane getting through two, getting some good damage onto red coat there. He may does manage to stay alive. Getting spammed by Matt. Oh my god, red coat's alive on a sliver of health. That Sentry Gun taking down the Fane bomb ASAP. Really good repositioning here from Elmo. Definitely knows his off classes for sure. <laughs> Maybe Fane will come up on something. Oh. I mean, Fane's most effective class is Soldier, but true enough, I mean, Fane is a Highlander Sniper as well, so... He is, he is on Soldier, yeah. Yeah. It looks like Ult peaking well on Sniper. It's that... It's on oh. Huntsman. Um, <laughs> it looks Typical like they used through one here, the memory's trade. Not managing to get the force at all, it looks like. It does go down. Sentry does go down, though. I mean, one Uber for a Sentry and no force isn't ideal. I'm just going to say that Alt baited them in with the Huntsman and swapped off into Soldiers, didn't know that? <laughs> yeah, I think it was Memory sort of Huntsman, he just started moulding, just started the trade into him. That's the, the classic Alt base. Of course. Uh, that's now Matt dying as well. Elmo did get picked up by Fane there in the push out though, so not the end of the world for no badges, but they definitely don't want to give up too much space here. Play for the back cap now, both oh, Alt and Fane gone here. for it. Managing to take up Daz immediately, they're taking it all the way onto mid, Macau goes down. Lex is so deep. I mean, no badges are still getting forwards yet. Yeah, Matt coming up on the sniper, maybe trying to get. No. He's, yeah, he's coming up on the sniper. Looks like Daz is going to get forwards as well, but Macau and Fane are not. And I think no badges are just going to have to give up mid here. At least they managed to get some Hail Mary pick onto the medic from Matt here. Yeah. Doesn't manage to get the shot though, and Connor knows he's there. He's doing his best to dodge things, and Matt's going to die any second now. Yep, he goes down. Pulls on a seven kill streak. Oh, mate. I was... should have believed in the scout. You should have believed. But, um, now no badges of themselves being forced all the way back to last. It is roughly even Ubers though, a bit of munch ad for Connor. But, I mean, that shouldn't do too much to change the tables of things. No badges, not wanting to play this any risky, want to get to last. Looks like they're just going to hold this for the golden cap. One minute, 30 left. I don't think they want to try to coast to coast this. 
Bane going down a lobby here. I don't, this is not good. This is what you want to be seeing for no badges. Do manage to use Uber now. Their Uber's not that much worse than no badges. See what they do. Looks like they just gotta push him. Just yeah, just gonna push him out. Yeah. Maybe. If Red Coat getting in through five, Elmo as well. It looks like they're gonna try go for a cheeky play here, pick up some frags. I'll go down pretty fast. Managing managing to take out Matt and Precious though. The frags are going away. They may get this actually. Oh. They do, they get it, and with 50 seconds left, this has become a disaster scenario for no badges. They're going to have to push this mid ridiculously Dude, fast if they don't want to do anything. You can just tell, you can just imagine what memory's like in the comms right now. He, he's ready to go, <laughs> he's screaming. He... I'm expecting balls to the wall, 37 seconds left. The other man's on the mid. They're going to be going in hard for this one. But... Matt already taking some forward space. Daz already blowing look... in, dies very quickly. E recognizing that they just had to play it slow and they'd win the mid and they're just they're still in choke, they don't care. As long as their mid survives, they win. Yeah, pretty much. 20 seconds left. I mean this is disaster time now. Yeah. Uh, not looking too good for no badges. They've got players all around them. Connor is sitting in choke, safe and happy. Ready just to defend this all the rest of the day. Six, five, four, three, two. One and there we go. That's the first map going the way of Team E. Looks like we are ready up now, so both teams are ready to swing into sunshine. So I'm gonna pay attention to the Daz rollout. Let's see. It looks like he's just gonna go for a Valiant rollout. A lot of teams are doing that now, just having the whole team roll out Valiant and play left. Lex not doing that now, rolling out choke, get in there a lot faster than Daz, but that's not really matter because he's just gonna be able to walk into them. Lex really super low. He, he does manage to get arrowed by Connor, but he's just gonna be just on no health of the whole mid pretty much. Red coat going down super low. Managing to get out from Bell. Macau does get picked up though, but oh That's so disastrous for their team. Now they're gonna be having to go all in. Elmo does die, so there's a little bit of an advantage there, but both soldiers death. There is now very little chance for them to even pick up Connor here. He's safe and sitting very protected in cafe. So <laughs> just... memories The pipe had he got her though. Oh my god, Connor oh. The meme spoon. If Connor yeah, wasn't like 10 less health, he would have died there to that pipe. Hate to see it. Daz going so well there and then getting cleaned up with other mean spoon. But now it's going to be no badges having to hold this last here, most likely. We already have some aggressive players. No, we don't actually have too many aggressive players from the side of um, Team E. Actually, but they do. I've counted it for myself too many times, <laughs> Mr. Dog. Let's make up your mind, my cards. Come on. I refuse, otherwise they'll hit me with the caster's curse. <laughs> Looks like Team E are going to take this top right, rolling out through bats. Yeah, they're going to go top right. I think, yeah, they're going to use through here. Lex jumping in super deep, managing to pick up the sentry there. And Redcoat taking some really great space there on left with the rest of his team. Precious coming on heavy on left, but he's really super low, getting arrowed up. Does finally go down, save a Macau. E picking up 70 frags there. The frame trying to make something happen on point, but does go down, and the point does go to the side of Team E. That was an extremely clean last push, honestly. They got the sentry gun down immediately, they got position really early on, and then all it was was just playing around the point while they picked up the frags, and then capping it at the end. Fantastic play from Team E, setting the pace for this map so far. No badges are going to have to fight to try to stop them from pulling a repeat. But I mean, we saw on process that Team E got the advantage early on, and no badges were very close to bringing it all the way back. Daz, taking down Lex super low, does roll out choke this time. Managing to pick up red coat super early. Frame's got some good positioning there on Belltail, getting some good spam down. Daz does go down, but all of Team E are dead. Precious is storming forward, trying to pick up the mid, but falls to the zero protector. And oh, that's exactly what Team what no badges needed. Now they're going to have the mid. Now they're going to have even Ubers at the very least. They're going to be capping the second point, so they've got a pretty decent position. Of course, Team E, like I said, even Ubers, so they're going to be able to fight from this last and try to make something happen. Is, is Crud all right, Luck? I heard some coughing in the background there. <laughs> it's just death all around me, you know? That's how things are. Yeah, yeah. The curse. It's like... Uh, Badger's here, making some space at Mobby. Looks like they're going to try to go for a spec. This is for a spec, for a sec. Look, oh. This is really taking their time, though. Matt and Fane both going into top right. I mean, Fane it looks like going going down, attack here. both of them have died, the sentry gun is up as well, so that's not going to even work on repeat. They're going to try to push out of this most likely, we have Alt heading below, Sticky's eye there, really, <laughs> what they know he's there. They know what Alt, they know, you can, okay, at this point you know what Alt's going to do. Exactly, spin a wheel, random number generator of the most <laughs> unexpected options and... You know. <laughs> it just becomes expected. Exactly. <laughs> They're actually doing their best to still manage to push out. It's getting a little bit of space here, not getting too much done, however. Alt actually having to be to run all the way out of that one. 
Bane dying again? Did he go for another sack? Uh, and died to Paulson. I feel like, yeah, I think he died in lobby. So he died on second, didn't even manage to get to the sentry gun defense on last. This is going to be such a hard one to crack for no badges. I mean, I'm not going to say it's a, uh, you know, <laughs> I mean, round I know, advantage I've, for I've Timu. You can team. sit here for half an hour, but... I versed this team on this map, and we managed to hold out on last for, I think, 15 or 20 minutes to, you know, to win the game. We didn't manage to win. They managed to win a round to get a golden cat, but I think this team does have some trouble with... Uh, Sacking into sunshine last. Honestly, if Team E had two rounds up, I would just honestly suggest they just literally try to sit here for 25 minutes. Because with the sentry gun, you basically stop all sack attempts, and this last can become hellishly difficult to push. Um, of course. I think, oh, I think, yeah, they get, I think they get some flashbacks to, uh, I think it was week one or week two. Oh. Red coat going down, that's a bit of an opportunity. They can now attempt to spam down the sentry gun and get a little bit of space for a sack. See how they manage to do that. Trying to spam out Lex there. Lex going down quite a low. Man, it's getting his traps onto Matt. Matt nearly dying it. Ult was on Spy. Okay. <laughs> Missed that. He's died anyway. This seems to looks like it's going to go down. This is the opportunity. Looks like if they're taking the beam top left. Yeah, it looks like they just want to walk in through right. Not only using now. The Uber's going to be slightly better, but Paul still is running back, trying to pick up a frag. Managing to get the force out onto Matt. And it looks like Edge is going to keep finding this. Matt's already in. Fane's jumping in. Managing to get some good damage onto... Actually, onto nothing actually. <laughs> yeah, it's actually pretty rough with the mech going down. Elmo in return though, memory's going down. Now that looks like no badge is going to be able to force all the way out onto second. And I mean, again, to a reset situation. It's going to be rough for no badges, you know. It looks like they're going to try. No, they're just going to maybe try build this Uber. No, they're going to try fight this, I think. They're in lobby. What are they doing? Are they going to try fight this? I think they're probably just going to go they're for just a double sack. Okay. Yeah. Oh, they managed to get Lex down super low. Matt Don't does manage. go down and Fane lives, but Precious died. The Setchy seat, they could. No, they're going to try to push died, this yeah. out. They're definitely going to try push this out. No, I mean, no. I mean, if I was them, I wouldn't push it out. Just I'd, push, I'd push it out. Yeah, Dude, oh, they've well, got the old already goes yeah. down. Like, oh, they managed to pick up Daz, though. And Fane. Okay, yep. definitely push this out now. Yeah, I would definitely. If I had two rounds on the board, I'd say don't push it out. Just sit there on last for all eternity. But with only one round, you don't want to risk, you know, holding for 15 minutes. Then they get one cap and you're back to 1-1. One, one, and that, that would just be an awful situation. So now they've got a little bit more breathing room. Even Uber's still, but they're looking to push out of it. They've got that two-player advantage. And they're going to try to take this mid with it. Hopefully without using. I mean, no badges yeah, yeah. are definitely going to try to get this force going, but with Matt dying, that's not really going to happen, most likely. Precious and Matt both go down, actually. And Memory's going down as well. Ead's and picking the up so many been teams. used! Oh no! This is not what you want to see at all for no badges. Dad's trying to put down some traps, but there's a soldier right on top of him. It does go down. Oh, Dad's didn't a trap a second too soon. Nearly picked up Almo at that. Just about everything that could have gone wrong for no badges has gone wrong. They now have two engineers, and now they don't have any engineers, <laughs> and now they've got one engineer and a heavy. And, and a sniper, dead. sorry. <laughs> a little bit indecisive, but I mean, no. Team E has full uber advantage, and they're coming in. Oh, they don't have full uber advantage anymore. Connor going down to a sniper. No, a nice pick there for memories. And Lex going down. Memory, oh, Almo trying to make something happen here, top left. Not managing to get anything, just having to leave. He may try going for a back cap, I think. Yeah, he's going for a cheeky play there, lower left. But Matt's already seen him, there's no way he gets anything here. He's getting some damage, good damage to the map, but Precious here to clean him up. See, what you've seen right there was the live bargaining with the devil that um, No Matt Badges died. was doing. They said, okay, we'll lose this mid, and we'll lose the second, and we'll hold last of the Ubers, but we're going to bank that all on one, <laughs> on one body shot onto Connor getting the drop. And now everything is looking so much better for them. Red coat's gone down. They're pushing into middle already. They're yeah, going to try to stack there onto Mikhail. Mikhail dropping. Oh no! Looks like Alt's had his own deals done with the devil. Man, yeah. he's getting that drop in return. Now things are looking a little better for Team E. They're not going to be able to contest this midpoint, but they're going to have second, and they're going to be able to push with Uber at least. Of course, that means that no badges at right now. Their number one priority is trying to make sure that when this Uber comes through onto mid they won't be able to take this midpoint for free. They're going to have to try to get set up and use, make them use to take it. It looks like they're, gonna, yeah, they're, they're walking this through Valley now. And no badges that are just in position to spam and try to delay them for as long as they can. But there's no way they get Uber here for mid. Maybe they'll get it for second, right? No way, but they'll at least hopefully be able to get the force and start to leapfrog it. Fane going in to try force. Managing to get the force here on the corner. That's very good for him. He's just going down now. 
Oh, trying to push your cafe here, maybe trying to pick up a frag. Let's manage to get much. It looks like no badges are just going to build in a second. They're going to get this Uber and they're going to leapfrog it. Things are actually not looking fantastic right now. Fane's behind getting fought by Elmo. If he manages to get this kill, that's really good for them. But if he dies here, Precious being down is going to allow so much space to be taken by Team E. However, he's survived for just long enough for Precious to respawn, and that's going to allow them to now start pushing this mid with their Uber advantage. In comes Red Coat. Oh, Red Coat. Oh my god, getting some great damage into Macau. Macau not forcing there. Kind of surprising, seeing as he dropped before. He's got balls to steal. It's good. It's getting dropped, however. Matt getting a frag, I mean, this is looking really scrappy now, but it's scrappy in Team E's favour. They've lost more players, they've managed to delay for quite a while, and they do have a little bit... Will they manage to get these forward spawns, actually? It looks like... No, they don't. They get denied. The As being dead is might stop them from pushing this anyway. Oh, no, it looks like they're trying to get in. Redcoat trying to hide in the corner there. Oh, no, it looks like... No, it's going to be a double sack. Matt and Fane both jump into cafe. No, they're just making space for the team. They're going to try to get in. Vayne on the scout, managing to pick him up. I think he's, he's just going to try to jump away. He's actually managing to survive. Matt going in deep here, making so much space for his team. Vayne going in as well, getting some great damage in a red coat, trading with him. And Lex dying there was the death knell for their team. The Uber has been used right onto the medic. They have to get this force out of Connor. They do get the force. Memories Macau has died for it. Timbuktu right now, it's completely out. Oh. Macau is connected with Precious. They're going to start building. They're going to have maybe some munch ad here. No, as long as they survive. Trying to fight this. Elmo, Precious is clapping him up. I mean, yeah, he is, but he's also left his medic alone, so they've turned a munch ad into a munch disad, which is not the greatest situation for them, but they still have this midpoint, which is all well and good. Yeah, Fane one player, right? They may try to push this. Well, Fane's Maybe. died, so... Fane's died, okay. Unlikely. Oh, well, I say unlikely, and as they start getting so aggressive yeah, yeah. anyway, Memories all the way through. Redcoat show. jumping, getting some great damage into Memories. Memories does go down for that. Matt, was that a was that a plan or was that was that? I think that's a pug push. All right, that's a we call that a DM ad. Let's push. Yeah, of course, <laughs> the good old DM ad. Let's push call. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, looks like Ia trying to muscle through Valley here. Maybe try to go for a sec. There's no way they've realized it's Uber Red. Maybe they could have no stolen Valve. Cool. It's a, it's a munch ad anyway. There's no way that they're that they're playing off it. Yeah. Maybe it looks like they're just trying to, you know, catch a cheeky player. Valley. Not mentioning getting anything. We're in a situation where if I was Team E, I'd again be relatively comfortable. You don't really want to lose Fain's this. In. Oh my. Sorry, Fane is in and he's he's dead. Sorry. He's dead. Uh, well, the problem is that at this point. It's not easy to sack onto mid from this point. It's easier to sack onto second. Elmo dying, however. And while ult's pretty far forward, nope, he managed to pull out in time. So yeah, it's, at this stage, I would actually say that no badges has the advantage of trying to make something happen here. But at the worst case scenario, Team E can just pull back to last and just be safe and happy there. Here comes Matt, however. Sorry, I'm restarting. Oh, my. oh, yep, that's sure. Matt has died in choke. Which means that, again, just an exchange of frags, red coats alive. Alts looks like he's looking for a sack position as the rest of No Alt's Badges in. pulled quite far back. through Valley. Getting great surf there from Macau. Managing to completely survive that. Oh On the other side of the map, pretty much, there's no way Alt could have gotten anything. No, didn't manage anything. So that's really rough. Looks like it's going to just be another exchange of sacks here, unless they're looking for yeah, a pretty devious play here. Valley. Maybe they're going to try to take a player into lower right. So they're just getting completely denied here. No, both. One soldier in for a fake. Other soldier in. Matt's in. Getting some great damage to the corner, but not managing to pick him up. That was a devious so setup Fane, for sure. Uh, just Fane like jumping through choke, like fake him out, and then Matt jumping. That was really good. They they first put the, the, the demon man in the combo in Valley to draw all eyes here. Then, then they got Fane to jump in as the distracted, as the team was distracted. And then they had the real bomb coming afterwards. That was... That was a convoluted setup. I'm yeah. surprised it didn't work, honestly. Team E just too attentive for that to work. That was on 4D chess. Oh. They're playing 4D chess with multi dimensional time travel, something like that. I don't know. It's like Alt complaining about the, the config. <laughs> you know, you know when players have enough time to start bantering in the chat that things are fine. Yeah. Oh, look, speaking of the config, you know, ban Mark Gardner. Ban, <laughs> ban the memes. Red coat going down. No, it looks like. Just gotta get in here. Fane does go down, but no badges completely yet. Managing to pick up ult. EA just boxed out completely into this corner. Looks like, yeah, just gonna have to give this up. That's actually a fantastic 
play from no badges, managed to get those two down. They're not going to be able to convert this onto last, however. I'd be really surprised if I didn't see Timmy pulling up some off classes and just sitting here again. It's the exact position they were in basically 10 minutes ago, honestly. Yeah. Matt already in, getting Lex down super low. Lex, does, no, Lex goes down. There goes Lex. This is a big opportunity for that no is? badges now. I remember like our last official, we don't want to have it happen again. And I do, the trade does come out. Looks like a pretty even uber trade here, but... Elmo's Badges have no, no players in, they're it's no positioning. Over. They're just, they're, the uber's gonna end and... But no, they're picking up frags. How, where did all these frags come from? They baited, they waited outside and they baited all those players forward to try to deal with the Ubered players. Of course, the Ubered players are Ubered and therefore invincible, meaning that all of Team E put themselves completely out of position and just got picked up by all the no badges players sitting outside the point. Really right. fantastic play for them, and that's even things back up. Another mid here, Dad's rolling out choke. Looks like he's just gonna play right side. Unless the ult's in though, already on to Dad. Not letting him take any space early on. Does go down, managing to trade there. No badges is gonna go super fast for this. Meta thing, yeah. But one soldier in, uh, she both soldiers just faking out right now. Chris just taking some good space here under belt. Just trying to push him out into belly. And look, look yeah, just, they're gonna be able to take so much. Oh, Connor's on. Okay, he's on. I don't know what's going on. I can't talk. <laughs> I mean, honestly, this has been, this, this mid's been pretty melting. We expected to see the typical standard kind of rotation play. That didn't Paulson happen. Goes now down. we have a deathmatch in, in Valley. This is. This, <laughs> That's when like 10 years from an arrow, but finally gets it. <laughs> no. Macau going Uber down Uber comes though. out, and that kills Macau, and that's now solidified a hold onto mid. Is what I'd say if they weren't currently being forced into cafe <laughs> by the yeah. remaining players. Including Daz on the respawn. That's on Tetris, taking the high ground. I like this, this is the powerful play. I Prime told you, position. Sunshine mids are crazy. Yeah, prime position here to get arrow. No, he's finally backing off. Actually surviving this, that's crazy. But looks like finally Team E has solidified a hold on this mid. No badges holding the second. Again, we're in a position where it's easier to second to second than it is to second to mid here. So no bad so sorry, Team E is the one who are likely to make something happen here. They do have a little bit of advantage as well, but probably not enough to use unless they pull the trigger immediately. And even then Macau's far enough back to, you know, get away and bait it in time. Looks like Ia walking through Valley immediately, but Badgers don't even have Uber yet. Macau's already in unders, and Ia just got to walk us in for free, it looks like. Yeah. They've, wa they've walked in so far. Macau waiting way too long there in unders. Badgers was holding... Oh no, Connor dying to Daz. That is fantastic for Badgers. Oh, and the Uber they've comes out. They want to get so many frags. Frag. One going down. Paulson managing to slither his way out into unders, going to spiral, and going back into lobby. What is, what is Paulson up to? That's How is the player called second. Rat with a Gat not the slipperiest player in the server <laughs> right now? Oh, oh, sorry, Dad's going down. Yeah, they've actually Paulson bought enough time for the respawners. They just should, they didn't ignore him. They decided to keep all their players waiting for him, and that allowed. Oh, oh my, my god! No fucking way. Get into the meme spoon. You hate to see it. <laughs> you hate to see it. Alt, Alt needs a nerf. Someone take this man's spoon away from him. Yeah. He's treating the meta clay as brick for cereal. Macau said only a spoonful, and then look what Alt brought. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. This is dreadful. Uh, what has the game come to when this is happening? Both Matt and Thane down on the sack. Team E now in a fantastic position to re-push, take this mid, take the second as well, and it's, I wouldn't be surprised to see no badges holding last very soon. Yeah, it looks like they're gonna have to give up second, yeah. They've got, they've got two players down, they've got big uber discs, but E is super slow here, they're only just walking the valley now. Maybe, maybe badges will get uber in time for last, we'll see. They're, but they're just, they're giving this up completely, they're building so hard. Matt's trying to go for, no, Matt's just gonna get out, Press is trying to go for a sec here. Lex going down here, that's actually so good for them, that's gonna delay them so long. If they weren't gonna clearly get uber for last, they now definitely go. They might even decide to contest this a little bit. The uber has been used Into as lobby. well. Macau using now, the uber's only slightly better, I should know, the uber's so much better, never mind. And to pick up record and lobby. And ult going down as well. Oops. Also on the back cap, fighting Precious here. Gonna see who manages to come Precious out on F. top of this. Matt nah, coming to here. cheat. With reinforcements. Yeah, Precious leaves, dying to Paulson though. That leaves memories and Mikhail alone on second. I just have to give it up. And Ia yeah. walking into lobby here. They're storming through Shutter. Matt trying to delay them for as long as he can until Daz and Precious get up. And it looks like no, Team Ia just gonna just play it safe. They're just gonna get Uber. Probably go for a sec. Maybe Paulson yeah. will cover up on an off class and he doesn't. Okay. I'd like to see. 
um some off classes come up from the side of no badges La this last is a hard is wow this last is a hard one to hold without off classes and a very easy one to hold with off classes at least when we're talking about sack plays and such like that it's not one of those ones which you can oh there comes the uber, the uber already, the, anyway. and immediately but badges have been used only using uber now let's see how many frags i'm gonna pick up fane and matt are down but they managed to pick up Rico, ult and elmo and that's actually really good for them. They're going to be able to push out onto second with this one. As long as Paulson is stopped from pulling them back again. No memory. Oh, no. So you can't push out a one player ad on Sunshine. All right. You need at least two. Even then, it's a bit risky. He's slippery. I mean, against most teams, you can just push out with no player ad. But I mean, <laughs> with Paulson on the team, hiding in the other team's spawn, what are you going to do? Looks like it's going to be another mid here. It, it looks like after the last year. Oh, not fast, right, fast rolling out this mid. Very surprising coming from him. Yeah, I mean, I, he's decided he, to play. He's just—he's not even throw up the mid yet. Actually, Fane <laughs> fighting him. <laughs> Fane and Matt both fighting. They're not letting Ult get anything, but it just left the rest of the team to, out to dry him. mid. Fane finally coming back at you. Getting some. I managed to pick up Lex there. The beast frag. Fane finally going down for it. By Matt. Death jumping in. Managed to pick up Connor. <laughs> And then the scouts are cleaning up the rest of E. It's only Paulson and Redco running. Redco on the mid, getting him down super low, but not managing the pick. Here's the wipe. Fantastic mid from No Bad. Is exactly what they need, and they're going to be moving so, so quickly from this area. They have players on second. Mid is being capped up two times. Almost through, and there's going to be a full Uber ad push into this last. We only need to see a scramble for a defense here. We have a sniper up on Elmo. We're going to no probably engineer. see an engineer. We're probably going to have to. Maybe they don't have no time. Engineer. They're going to have to have a heavy or something. No heavy. No heavy guy. Paul's also on heavy. Engineer. Here we go. Engineer. That hits too late for an engineer, I don't yeah. think. Yeah. He's, he's getting up his level one right side. It's got a jag. That's good. They're already in. They're already in through lowers. You Uber being used now already. That Taking was out pretty early use. That's they saw the sniper. That's jumping to pick up there. Not managed to pick him up. Red coat going down super low. Just going to restart. Macau left alone onto the point there. There's the Macau going down. Matt down as well. Red coat going to get some great damage on all of the rest of badges on lower. Fresh just stuck in here. Just going to get mown down by the the heavy. And it's just memories. Of, I really feel like badges walked in there and didn't expect the sort of amount of space they were able to take so they took a lot of space there used the uber even though they didn't exactly have a direct threat on them and then just kind of didn't really manage to get too much done with it that was a really fantastic play from no bad sorry from team a full uber ad here for um sorry for yawning for uh <laughs> <laughs> for tv Rolling gameplay <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah i'm entertained i'm just i'm just tired of today like, yeah. tv walking on their mid now <laughs> managing to take this Pretty much for free. Badge is not really trying to contest the door. Looks like they're going to try to build this Uber for a second. But E are rushing through cafe. They're not going to let them get. They're going to try to take second of this, I think. Are they going to try use? No, they're just. They're going to walk it in for free. Red coat jumping in so far. But it does go down. The Uber, the Uber does Uber come out. out. That's really fantastic for them. They've got the force. They're going to be able to leapfrog this back into them with the Uber, but they don't want to have to use their Uber to take oh, this. They use now. No, they, they're going to pick up so many frags. Connor God, going down. Connor. going down. Quad is still alive. He does go down finally. That's fantastic with him. That's Just a... Elmo left on last. <laughs> Elmo's gonna try to go for a, a back cap, it looks like. They don't realize he's there. Now Precious is already looking out for him. Who's gonna win this 1v1? Precious has won it already, honestly. He demolished Elmo there. That's so unfortunate for him. So he doesn't have to get the same success does. He was demolishing yeah. on MG before. Exactly. We now have. No badges pushing on second, no real threats to them so far. So they're going to be able to take another uber advantage push onto last. This time, hopefully, it'll go better for them. Oh, do we have a bit of trolling with the Huntsman and, uh, and forwards? No, it's finally back spawning now. <laughs> finally back spawning. There we go. Not not enough trolling being done. Yeah. Expect more from Alt, honestly. Yeah, honestly, Alt, come on. What are you doing, man? Where's yeah. the Huntsman? <laughs> Elmo's, up the on Elmo's up on Sniper. Sentry Gun is up from Paulson. And do you through top right? Managing to take out the sentry, a bit slow though. Daz jumping in, he's just going so deep with these Ubers. Jumping in left, but he's pretty much alone there. Now the rest of the team's come over. Redcoat finally going down. The heavy though is up, but he's, he's not going to be able to do much. All the badges are up, and just going to kill him and take the points. Exactly what no badges needed. Now we're going to. Oh, well, before stating the obvious, I mean, that was actually a really clean mid from. You know, back to the mid, as if the mid's not going to happen. <laughs> so, oh my god, it's a mid fight. Who would have thought? No, that was actually a really fantastic last push from them, not 
pulling the same mistake as last time. This time they were a lot more prepared and executed it very cleanly. Even though the heavy was a little bit of a threat near the end there, just wasn't enough to get things done. Red card going for a very deep bomb there onto Tetris. They managed to get much, just jumping away immediately onto Bell. He's getting so much spam in from Bell, it's so good. Oh, going for a deep bomb there. Daz is completely alone. Managed to pick up Daz with a nice air shot there. Getting picked up by Precious though. Pulls and managed to get the med though. Sneaking, sneaking past both scouts by looking at the soldier. By looking at ult. Timmy just, you know, went to sleep last round, woke up this round, and got a wipe on mid. <laughs> this is, this is a really disastrous position for no badges, honestly, because by all means they should lose this round very very soon unless they pull off the mother of all defenses got, looks like they've got an engineer they got and the, the pyro no way they can't remember he's not play pyro might play heavy he's got to play sniper that's been there we go that's been memories is only going to play sniper you can't memories used to be a highlander snipe main for anyone who doesn't know this was way back in the day the buried history and like the um the cretaceous period i think right yeah exactly <laughs> All these guys, you know, everyone used to be a Highlander player at one stage or another, you know. Oh, I wasn't. Don't believe the lies. It looks like they're going to use... Through, yeah, they're going to use through top right here. Legs jumping deep. Managing to take out the sentry. Like he's going to knock off the point. They're going to try to play the point and they're just going to get it, I think. No. No? Maybe? Yes, no? maybe. No. Daz is on it right Daz now. Not. Almost fighting him. And <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah, unfortunately, Memory's murky history as a sniper, not quite enough to save his team from that disastrous situation. But now we have below five minutes left, and, I mean, another mid-fight, who would have thought? Really? Well, Let's you see, see the... I haven't seen any fast, these mids have been very slow at the start. No fast rollouts for either soldiers, and looks like that's going to be the same this mid as well. Both teams just playing it slow, getting to, you know, waiting for the setup. Redcoat jumping onto Bell again. But it, it looks like the badge to play left side this minute, it's a bit of a change. Oh, jumping deep though, managing to pick up Macau. He does die for it. That's actually a fantastic position for Team E now. Now they can actually play super passively, they don't have to make anything happen. They're getting so many happen. fragged it. Elmo going down, looks like Coulson's got to go down as well. Just managing to slip his way out there. Oh. It's worth it, they just play passive, pull back to mid. Make sure to play against any of these players getting into Precious them to get the sack. Oh. Connor is so low here, honestly. Gets the pack happily, but they're just going to be happy holding the second against these sacks, honestly, because four minutes left, time is on their side. It looks like, yeah, they've got to walk it in now. Redcoat trying to make some space here, jumping in, not going for a very deep bomb, just playing it safe. Oh god, jumping in really far, trying to pick up memories. Does not manage to get it. Redcoat jumping! Oh, sorry. Redcoat jumping on Redcoat. Bane dying cover before that. I mean, Timmy really wants to get this without using, and no badges does not want to let them take this mid without having to use They're their Uber. They're not giving them an inch. This is like a dust bowl game. This... <laughs> oh man, the, the, the Stalingrad that is dust bowl. <laughs> yeah, dust bowl third section or whatever. <laughs> we finally. We, yeah. It doesn't quite end out like Dust Bowl, they do manage to take this point. Even Ubers on both sides, however, second being held by no badges. Like we've seen before, it's likely no badges are going to be pushed off this one unless they can get creative. But Team E, honestly, have no incentive to do anything. Fane. But... Look at Fane's on Spy. Fane. Fane Spy. Oh my god. We're about to see greatness happen. He's slipping his way through Choke. Haven't spotted him out yet. He's right on top of the mid. I don't think Connor realizes he can't oh get the mid. Oh my god, it's the double stab! Is he the single greatest player who ever lived? Yes, the answer is yes. <laughs> Fane just managing to swing things all Redco the way Redcoat jumping in though. Game. Not managing to get much there, jumping away. Almo managing to pick up memories. Managing to live as well. Re Alton and Redcoat both jumping in. Managing to get the force on the cow. Almo's behind. He may try to go for a back cap, but the soldier sees him. He's not letting him get this for free. I don't know, are they, are they going back? Yeah, they're going back for him. They kind of have to, because that's already halfway capped, and Elmo's just slivering. Oh, Man, just to get to you see, this is the issue with Fane on Spy. Yeah, he makes the perfect situation for your team, but then he dies and doesn't manage to stick around to ensure that they capitalize off it. So but they managed, that's the trade-off. He managed to get their forwards. That was a really good play from Elmo there. Um, yeah, they're just going to be able to fight this. Things now not looking the greatest for no badges. They still have a little bit of munch ad, but they're all scattered all trying to hold this point. Team E deciding not to try to force the issue. They don't want to be too risky with this one with two minutes left in the round up. No badges trying to push your cap out here, but Mikel is just it's going disastrous for them. Oh my god, the coach just huge. went absolutely massive. Killed everyone. It's just Daz left. Daz is still a pretty big threat, however. Manages to get Elmo.
He's gonna actually keep them on second, most yeah. likely. They're holding back. There's doing some pug, pug plays right now, just standing from where they have traps. I like it a lot. With one minute There's 40 left. Under. Oh my god. I mean, Team E actually doesn't want to push this. With one minute 40 left, they just have no incentive at all to move from their position. Because with another 40 seconds to yeah. wait for Uber, I mean, it's going to be at least Badge, I don't know, 30 seconds. They just don't even got to wait for Uber, they just got to go. Yeah, I guess they don't have time, they need to make this happen now. But try to push your Bella here. E do use, imagine to pick up memories and faint immediately. Lex jumping so far there. Oh, not managing to get much with that. Almo's storming through unders. Maybe he's going to try to get into the combo, but E are just completely, oh sorry, Badge is completely out. Oh, for a second. They have got Uber out though, maybe they got it. I think, is there still time? I think there may still be time, but they need to push out. Like, they 50 can't seconds Uber. is absolutely time, but they have to move ASAP. They need to win this fight decisively, and Team yeah. E is going to do everything in their power to stop that from happening. They're getting they're getting Uber now, but Team E are just like completely out. Honestly, they may just give up mid here. No, they're going to try, they're going to stuff them in completely. They're they're dying is disastrous for them. They haven't managed to use their Uber yet, they which is good to for them. guy down. Problem is, they're trying to get, they're trying to keep this going in. Matt is already in. Matt is Oh my god, Memories is killed up with the medic. They haven't picked up mid. Oh They've gone too slowly. Their, their chase there actually was too slow. They should have just consolidated, kept mid with that. But now they have to use into Connor. Connor has the Uber and 15 seconds left. I don't know if they can do this. It's, yeah, I think it may be all she wrote for no badges. Oh. And yeah, Macau and Memories both going down. Three, two, one, and there we go. That means that Team E is going to be moving on to the Grand Finals.